Now, I will take an example circuit and calculate its y parameters. Let me take this circuit. This is port 1, this is port 2, very simple circuit, but for now let us use this and let us say this is 1 kilo ohm and this is 2 kilo ohm. And we want to calculate the y parameters and we will do it one by one using the algorithm we described earlier. So, y 1 1 is i 1 by v 1 with v 2 being shorted. Okay. So, I short the second port and I apply a voltage v 1 to the first port. Now, it is clear that this V 1 appears entirely across this 1 kilo ohm, because of this short the voltage across this 2 kilo ohm resistor is 0. Okay. So, this current I 1 here is nothing but V 1 divided by this resistance 1 kilo ohm. Okay. Now, what I wanted was I 1 by V 1 this turns out to be V 1 divided by 1 kilo ohm divided by V 1, which is equal to 1 by 1 kilo ohm or 1 milli Siemens. Okay. So, that is what Y 1 1 is. Now, Y 2 1 the measurement setup is the same. I still set V 2 to 0 that is short circuit the second port, but this time I measure I 2 instead of I 1. Okay. So, what do I get? I 2 and also keep in mind the direction of I 2, I 2 has to be measured that way. Now, again this V 1 appears entirely across this 1 kilo ohm and because this 2 kilo ohm resistor has a short across it no current can flow through the 2 kilo ohm resistor the voltage across it is 0. So, we have a current like this in this direction which is V 1 divided by 1 kilo ohm and if you look at I 2 it is the same as this current, but with the direction being opposite. So, I 2 is simply minus V 1 by 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So, this is minus V 1 by 1 kilo ohm divided by V 1, which gives you minus 1 milli Siemens. Okay. So, that is the value of Y 2 1. Now, let us consider the other parameters. We know that Y 1 2 is I 1 by V 2 with V 1 set to 0, I have to short circuit port 1. So, let me do that. This is 1 kilo ohm, that is 1 kilo ohm. Okay. Now, I short circuit port 1 or set V 1 to 0 and apply V 2. Okay. So, if I apply V 2, what happens? First of all, there is a current V 2 by 1 kilo ohm in that direction and there is a current V 2 by 1 kilo ohm in that direction and the current that goes in here is the sum of the currents in the two resistors, which is V 2 by 1 kilo ohm times 2. Okay. It is basically this plus that. Now, 
for y 1 2 what do I need? I want I 1 which is which is the current this way. Okay. Now, I already evaluated that v 2 by 1 kilo ohm flows that way. So, I 1 is the negative of this. So, I 1 is minus v 2 by 1 kilo ohm which gives you minus v 2 by 1 kilo ohm divided by v 2 which is equal to minus 1 milli siemens. Okay. And finally, y 2 2 is I 2 by V 2 with V 1 equal to 0 that is port 1 short circuit same condition under which we measured y 1 2. Okay. So, I 1 which is this current we have already calculated that I 1 is 2 times V 2 divided by 1 kilo ohm. So, y 2 2 is 2 V 2 by 1 kilo ohm divided by V 2 which is equal to 2 milli Siemens. Okay. So, now we have this circuit 1 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm 1 1 prime 2 2 prime. A representation of this is as a two port network. Okay, one one prime, two two prime, with the y parameters which are one milli Zeman, minus one milli Zeman, minus one milli Zeman, and two milli Zeman's. Okay. So, what can be done is instead of analyzing this circuit, you can take this two port and the equations corresponding to that which is basically I 1 I 2 being y 1 1 y 1 2 y 2 1 y 2 2 times v 1 v 2 and use that instead. Now, this circuit is so simple that you can analyze anything even with this circuit in place, but you could have a 100 resistors in here as long as you have only two pairs of terminals provided to you, it can be represented by only four parameters the four y parameters. Okay. So, the calculations become a lot simpler. So, this is an equivalent representation of that one. Okay. So, that is all that is there to it and we can take another example. This time I will use a control source Okay. Let me define this as V x and this is 2 milli Siemens times V x. It is a voltage controlled current source okay. and this is port 1, this is port 2. So, how do we go about determining the y parameters of this? again exactly the same algorithm as before. So, for y 1 1 you short port 2 that is you set port 2 equal to 0 and find the ratio of i 1 to v 1 okay. and for y 2 1 you also short uh, port 2 and find the ratio of y 2 to v 1. So, in other words what we do is we short circuit this apply v 1 here and we need to find these two currents. Okay. We need to find this current I 1 and this current I 2. Always please keep in mind where the currents go. This current is going into the two port right that is in this part here or in this part over there and that is true for both I 1 and I 2. So, the directions are very important. Now, because I have shorted port 2 across this 1 kilo ohm there is 0 volts and no current flows through this one okay. and this V 1 appears entirely across the 1 kilo ohm resistor over here. So, 
the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor is V 1 divided by 1 kilo ohm and the current in this control source is nothing but 2 milli Siemens times V x and V x is the same as V 1 okay, in this case. So, this is 2 milli Siemens times V 1. Okay. So, and that goes in that direction and the current through this is 0 as I mentioned earlier. So, firstly this I 1 simply equals this V 1 divided by 1 kilo ohm or V 1 times 1 milli Siemens because 1 by 1 kilo ohm is 1 milli Siemens and this I 2 is nothing but the current through the control source minus the current coming in from this resistor okay. and that happens to be 2 milli Siemens times V 1 that is what going down into this nothing is going here minus the current V 1 by 1 kilo ohm which is minus 1 milli Siemens times V 1. Okay. So, substituting these values we get I 1 is 1 milli Siemens times V 1 divided by V 1 which is 1 milli Siemens and this is this difference which is also 1 milli Siemens times V 1 divided by V 1 which is 1 milli Siemens. Okay. Then we have to calculate the other two parameters to calculate y 1 2 which is i 1 by v 2 with port 1 shorted and y 2 2 which is i 2 by v 2 with port 1 shorted. So, for these two measurements I have to short port 1 apply v 2 okay, and I need to find the currents i 2 flowing that way and i 1 flowing that way. Okay. Now, I have shorted this here because this is shorted by the way this control source is 2 milli Siemens times V x where this is V x and with port 1 shorted V x equals 0. Okay. So, this current source here will be 0 it is out of the picture. Now, it is clear that this V 2 appears across this 1 kilo ohm as well as that 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So, we have a current V 2 by 1 kilo ohm over there and a current V 2 by 1 kilo ohm over there. So, if I measure I 1 it is the same as the current in this resistor and it is in opposite direction to this V 2 by 1 kilo ohm. So, we have minus V 2 by 1 kilo ohm divided by V 2 which gives me minus 1 milli Siemens. Okay. and I 2 which is the sum of these two currents. Okay. In fact, looking from this port if you look at the conductance seen at port 2 you see that this 1 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm are in parallel. So, sum of these two currents V 2 by 1 kilo ohm plus V 2 by 1 kilo ohm. So, that gives me 2 times V 2 by 1 kilo ohm divided by V 2 which is 2 milli Siemens. So, the y parameters of this network the y matrix is 1 milli Siemens, 1 milli Siemens, minus 1 milli Siemens and 2 milli Siemens. Okay. So, again the point of this is you can use these equations with only 4 parameters instead of looking at all the details within the circuit. Okay. <coughs> 